Elizabeth Morse. I am here today to talk to you about cooking with canned tomatoes. Canned tomatoes are super versatile. Um, these happen to just be a, a diced tomato, but really for this recipe, you could use anything. I like stewed tomatoes a lot. Um, I really like um, uh, Rotel that has a little peppers in it. Um, but anyway, what we've got today is just plain diced tomatoes. I've got two cans of that. And what we're gonna make is um, what I call a no boil pasta bake. You can make yours with chicken or pork. Um, I'm gonna make mine tonight with no meat in it, just kind of a vegetarian option, lots of cheese. And um, I'm gonna use uh, 16, ounce, 16 ounces of pasta. I like these twists. You can also use um, really any noodle that you want. I think that a bigger noodle as opposed to the long stringy ones do work a little better because they hold all the delicious sauce that we're gonna make. Um, we need garlic, four cloves. I just happen to have this already chopped up. And then we're gonna use um, some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. I've got milk. I really like to use whole milk in this one, but I'm gonna use 2% uh, because that's what I've got today. I've got some Italian seasoning, some breadcrumbs, uh, a little cooking spray, and salt and pepper. So the beauty of this dish is that you put everything in one pot you stick it in the oven and um, there's no draining pasta, there's no stirring up the sauce, it's all in just one pot and it makes it super easy to throw together. Like right when you get home from work, then you can kind of hang out, chill with the kids and uh, about an hour it's ready. So you need a big pot. I like this guy because it has a lid. And I'm just gonna take my kitchen spray. You can use whatever you like, this is what I like. Just give it a good coat. Then, so easy, it's crazy. I'm gonna open up my bag of pasta. I'm gonna dump all the pasta in the bowl. Right in there. Then I'm gonna add um, the equivalent to four cloves of garlic. You can use a lot of, or a little if you um, know that your family is a really um, active lover of garlic. You could add a little bit more. I'm just gonna go with what it calls for. We're gonna do some salt and pepper. So about two teaspoons of salt. I got this pepper grinder. I like a lot of pepper, so I'm gonna give it a bunch of twists here. Here we go. I'm going to dump two cans over the, the noodles. I'm gonna leave the juice in. We're not gonna do anything except dump it all in the pot. Here's the second one. And then we're gonna put, we're gonna take our can. Um, these are 14 and a half ounce cans, so just a regular size. Gonna fill that guy back up with milk. That also gets the rest of the little good bits of tomato out of there. Pour that over the top. Okay. We're gonna dump about two cups of mozzarella cheese. That's what I like best. Um, you could use pizza cheese. You could really use anything you like, but I think this, this tastes really great with these Italian style cheeses. I'm gonna use my Italian style seasoning and give that a good shake. We like a lot of it here. And then I'm also gonna put about half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We need some Parmesan cheese because after we put um, the pasta together, there's a little bit of a topping that we're gonna make. And, um, okay, so I've got everything in here. And now I'm just gonna grab my spoon, give it all a good stir to combine. And yes, this is dry and it's gonna look weird. But the great thing is all these yummy flavors are gonna cook the pasta. It's gonna be cheesy, creamy, really delicious. And again, um, my family likes to have this with chicken. You could use pork or you could just do the vegetarian style like I'm doing tonight. Anything goes. Okay, so this is all set. I'll show you what it looks like. Not fancy at all. I'm gonna stick this in a, um, a 400 degree oven. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna let it go for about 50 minutes. And while that's happening, I'm gonna come back and show you what to do with the topping that we're gonna add during that last, um, last 10 minutes of cooking. So stay tuned and I'll show you the end product. Okay, I just stuck our, um, our Dutch oven 
in, uh, in the oven. It's gonna go for 50 minutes, and then um, at that time, I'm gonna take the lid off, and I'm gonna put on top this uh, kind of just savory crumble mixture. So what I've got here is about a cup of breadcrumbs. Mine are kind of dried and crumbled. Um, usually I would have like the end of a butt of bread and you can cube that up. Anything works, even cracker crumbs would be a good choice. Then I've got a little bit more Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna put about half a cup in. You could use this, you could use more mozzarella or you could use the kind of uh, cheese that comes in the shaker can. That's a great idea too. And then some more fresh herbs or dried herbs, whatever you've got. I'm just gonna use that same Italian seasoning that I have had um, to use in the pasta part. So it looks like this. And let me grab my olive oil. So you can use olive oil or butter, um, really whatever you have handy. I buy um, olive oil in kind of big cans because I use a lot of it. And I'm gonna add just about half a cup, maybe not even that, yeah, about half a cup. And I'm gonna stir it up. Looks like this, pretty much exactly what it looked like before. So when my timer goes off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull my casserole dish out of the oven. I'm gonna take the lid off, I'm gonna sprinkle this on, and then I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit and just get this nice and crunchy on the top and it is just delicious. So uh, I will press pause here and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, I have just pulled this bad boy out of the oven. It smells amazing. I'm gonna shift the camera so that you can see inside. It smells so good. So what I'm gonna do now is put this topping, <clears throat> excuse me, put this topping on. I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top. This is the breadcrumb cheesy olive oil mixture with all the herbs. Mmm, it smells so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back in the oven for 10 minutes. We're gonna get the, the crumb topping uh, crunchy and melted on the top. It's, remember, it's got a little cheese in it. And um, then I'll come back and show you what the final product Okay, everybody, final product. It looks amazing, smells amazing. Give this recipe a shot and let me know what you think of cooking with canned tomatoes. See you next month.